everyone, this is Miss Vans, Fundamentals of Learnings, five tips and five minutes. If this is your first time joining me, please hit the subscribe button. All right, so as promised, we are continuing our conversation with Principal Kafele's book, A Handbook for Teachers of African American Children. And this week we are focusing on a mindset for teaching. Now, when he opens up the chapter, he teaches us to define our purpose. So that's tip number one. Why are we in the profession? Why are we educators? Why are we teachers, right? He wants us to answer that question of why, define our purpose. And when we do, he wants us to make sure that we keep in mind the academic achievement gap. And in defining my purpose, I want to define what I do as a teacher by understanding that there is an achievement gap there and there is something that I have to do to fix that or to or to help eliminate that achievement gap any way that I can, right? And then he wants us to create a mission. What is the mission of your classroom? What is the mission that you are on in order to ensure that your students are successful. Now he had a, a mind zone. That was the name of his classroom, the mind zone. And he says, my mission as they knew was to do all that was within my power to ensure that my students achieve academic excellence. That was his mission. When his students entered the mind zone, that was his mission, right? My mission as an educator is to always implement fun and that's why that's the name of my business fundamentals because i want to make sure that kids are having fun while they learn i want to make sure that they are excited while they're learning so you have to define what your mission is going to be and then once you define that you move into your vision where do you see yourself as a teacher a year from now where do you see your students academically a year from now right that's your mission where do you see yourself, whether it's attending more professional developments, where do you see your children, whether it is helping them outside of school, helping their parents understand a little bit more about what's happening in the classroom, right? What is your vision? And then he teaches us to set incremental goals. We know we have 180 days in most situations. So every 30 days, how am I doing with my vision? Every 60 days, how am I doing on my vision? Every 90, every 90 days, if you want to um, set it up that way, but making sure that you're checking in with yourself, making sure that you're checking in with your students as well, and making sure that these things are posted as well, right? If you have goals, post them up with your, with your students. If you have personal goals, post them at home, professional goals, academic goals, post those at school so that you also see it every day so it's fresh in your mind. And then the last thing that he teaches is to reflect. And this is something huge, especially for a lot of educators. And it's something that I had to learn how to do my first year of teaching, especially after an observation or a walkthrough, right? We want to reflect on our teaching. If I go home and I say, okay, I didn't do well with this math lesson today. What can I do tomorrow? Or my students didn't do well on this quiz. What did I not do? What did I not say? How did I not teach it in the way that everyone understood what was happening? Taking that time to reflect. And he, and he um, suggests that we get a reflection journal so that at the end of the day, and I know some days are long and we just want to go home, but even if you can take five or 10 minutes at the end of the day and say, okay, these are the three things I did well. These are the three things that did not go so well. And these are the three things that I could do tomorrow to make sure that it's better. And I did it all the time. Even if I had a student that was misbehaving, okay, how did I react to him today? And it didn't go so well. So what can I do tomorrow to react differently to the student, right? Taking that time to reflect. So talking about a mindset for teaching, the five tips from today, to finding our purpose, making sure that we have a vision, making sure that we have a vision, 
making sure that we set incremental goals and that we are reflecting. Um, next week, we're going to focus on motivating your students, keeping them motivated throughout the school year. All right. So I thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to comment if you have any questions or you want to continue the conversation. Feel free to comment below and I will see you all next.